great to see you. Great to see you. We heard about your upcoming induction into the National Inventors Hall of Fame, and we know you're very busy, but we just had to stop by and say congrats. You know, that's great. Come on in, come on in. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Wow, so this is where you quite literally make the magic. This is exactly where the ideas are hatched and where we prove them out. So wait, how did you even get started working in research and development? You know, I've had a long career, um, 20 years with the Bell System, Bell Labs, Bell Communications Research, Telcordia, doing research for the telecommunications network. 25 years ago, I came here to Walt Disney Imagineering R&D, and I've been here for all that time, inventing and having fun. Wow, so you've been here for quite a while, obviously, and... Yes. So what does being an Imagineer mean to you? You know, being an Imagineer is using technology in service of making people happy. Come on, that's the world's greatest job. You've invented quite a lot around here. Don't you have over like a hundred patents? Well, it's 106, but I won't quibble. Are those some over there? Yeah, yeah, come on over, take a look. So, I've invented electromagnetic eyes for our animatronics to make the eye movement compact. The eye itself is doing all of the work. This goes a few years back, interactive zoetrope. We brought it up to date, making it so that talking into a microphone brings the characters on the zoetrope to light. This one's been well documented. You can see it on the in internet as the in interactive zoetrope. And um, yeah, and just some fun from the past. Wow, well, you gotta have a favorite invention or two, right? Well, yeah, let's bring it up to date. It's always the things that I've done most recently that I'm most excited about. And I've designed and created the most realistic, expandable, extendable lightsaber. Many of you may have seen it um, in our parks. Well, you've left quite the mark and now you're being inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. How does that feel? You know, it's, a, it's an amazing honor. And um, for an inventor, it is, it is it's incredible, and I'm, I'm humbled and uh, excited. Well, Walt is the only other Disney employee to receive this honor, and you're now the second. That has to be pretty special, huh? You know, when I realized that Walt Disney himself was the only other person at our company that's received this, this honor, um, it, it caused really a, a lump in my throat. It's amazing. Walt and his accomplishments are incredible, and to follow even slightly in his footsteps, it, it's a wonderful honor. Yeah. Hey, we heard there was something about a, a floor tile or something. What's that oh. all about? <laughs> we call it the hollow tile floor, and it's a very special piece of technology. And you know what? I'd like to show it to you. Let's, let's, let's take a walk over and... Uh, We'll see the hollow tile floor. Let's do so, it. Yeah, let's go. Come on. So this is the hollow tile. It is. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to do a little demonstration of it. So I can walk on this omnidirectional floor in any direction I want. It will automatically do whatever it needs to have me stay on the floor. And what's amazing about this is multiple people can be on it and all walking independently. They can walk in virtual reality and so many other things. So where are you hoping this tech ends up? You know, imagine a number of people being in a room, being able to be somewhere else collaboratively and moving around, seeing, doing sightseeing. Imagine theatrical stages that might have these uh, embedded in them so that dancers can do amazing moves. Not me, but <laughs> really good dancers. Um, so there are just so many applications for this type of technology and we don't know yet where that where it will be used. Well, it's official. I think you probably have one of the coolest jobs. Yeah, I think you're right. It, it gives me an amazing opportunity to use these inventions that I've made in service of people having fun. Well, Lanny, it's been great catching up with you. Thanks for showing us around. Thank you, and come back soon.